Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates on international affairs. In today's video, we'll be discussing a significant event that recently took place in the waters of the Asia-Pacific region. Get ready as we delve into the details of a maneuver involving the U.S. warship and NATO Navy passing through the Taiwan Strait during China's war games. But before we jump into the story, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell icon to stay updated with our content. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of insightful analysis. Now, let's get started. The Taiwan Strait, a crucial waterway in the region, has become the center of attention once again as tensions continue to simmer between China and its neighbors. In a display of military strength and solidarity, a U.S. warship and a NATO Navy vessel made their way through this strategic passage during China's ongoing war games. This bold move has sparked intense discussions and raised eyebrows worldwide. The presence of the U.S. warship and NATO Navy in the Taiwan Strait sends a strong message of support for Taiwan and a clear demonstration of freedom of navigation in international waters. China, on the other hand, has expressed its discontent with this move, considering it a provocative action. As tensions escalate, it is crucial to understand the geopolitical implications and the potential impact on the region. The U.S. warship U.S. Milius sailed through the Taiwan Strait on Sunday in what the U.S. the Navy described on Monday as a routine transit just days after China ended its latest war games around the island. China, which views Taiwan as its own territory, officially ended its three days of exercises around Taiwan last Monday where it practiced precision strikes and blocked the island. It staged the drills to express anger at Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen's meeting with U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Kevin McCarthy, viewing it as an interference in China's internal affairs and U.S. support for Taiwan's separate identity from China. The U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet said the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer U.S. Milius conducted a routine Taiwan Strait transit through waters where high seas freedoms of navigation and overflight apply in accordance with international law. The ship's transit demonstrates the United States' commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific, it added. Chinese military's Eastern Theater Command said in a social media post on Monday it organized troops to follow and monitor the U.S. destroyer throughout its operation. Taiwan's defense ministry said the ship sailed in a northerly direction through the strait and that during its transit the situation in the strait was as normal. The U.S. Navy sails warships through the strait around once a month and also regularly conducts similar freedom of navigation missions in the disputed South China Sea. Last week, the U.S. Milius sailed near one of the most important man-made and Chinese-controlled islands in the South China Sea, Mischief Reef. Beijing denounced it as illegal. China has continued its military activities around Taiwan since the drills ended, though on a reduced scale. On Monday morning, Taiwan's defense ministry said it had spotted 18 Chinese military aircraft and four naval vessels operating around Taiwan in the previous 24-hour period. China has never renounced the use of force to bring democratically governed Taiwan under its control. Taiwan's government rejects China's territorial claims and says only the island's people can decide their future. China's military rebuked the United States and Canada for after the country's navies staged a rare joint sailing through the sensitive Taiwan Strait. The U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet said the guided missile destroyer U.S. Chung-Hoon and Canada's HMCS Montreal conducted a routine transit of the strait on Saturday through waters where high seas freedoms of navigation and overflight apply in accordance with international law. Chung-Hoon and Montreal's bilateral transit through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates the commitment of the United States and our allies and partners to a free and open Indo-Pacific, it said in a statement. The Eastern Theater Command of China's People's Liberation Army said its forces monitored the ships throughout and handled the situation in accordance with the law and regulations. The country's concern deliberately create incidents in the Taiwan Strait region. 
deliberately provoke risks, maliciously undermine regional peace and stability, and send the wrong signal to Taiwan independence forces, it said late Saturday. Taiwan's defense ministry said the two ships sailed in a northerly direction through the strait and that it had observed nothing unusual. While U.S. warships transit the strait around once a month, it is unusual for them to do so with those of other U.S. allies. The mission took place as the U.S. and Chinese defense chiefs were attending a major regional security summit in Singapore. At that event, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin rebuked China for refusing to hold military talks, leaving the superpowers deadlocked over Taiwan and territorial disputes in the South China Sea. There was no immediate response to the sailing from China's military, which routinely denounces them as a U.S. effort to stir up tensions. The last such publicly revealed U.S.-Canadian mission in the narrow strait took place in September. China has been ramping up military and political pressure in an attempt to force Taiwan to accept Beijing's sovereignty claims, which the government in Taipei strongly rejects. One of the significant keywords related to this event is Taiwan Strait tensions. These tensions have been an ongoing issue, with China asserting its claims over Taiwan and Taiwan striving for international recognition as an independent nation. The recent passage of the U.S. warship and NATO Navy vessels only adds fuel to the fire and raises questions about the delicate balance of power in the Asia-Pacific region. The second keyword that comes into play here is U.S.-China relations. The United States and China have long been engaged in a complex relationship characterized by both cooperation and competition. The passage of the U.S. warship through the Taiwan Strait amidst China's war games undoubtedly escalates the tensions between these two global powers. The question arises, how will this maneuver impact the already strained relations between the U.S. and China? Moving on to our third keyword, NATO's role in the Asia-Pacific, this event highlights the growing involvement of NATO in this region. While NATO is primarily focused on Euro-Atlantic security, its presence in the Asia-Pacific signifies a shift in global security dynamics. The participation of a NATO Navy vessel in this maneuver amplifies the message of unity among Western allies and raises questions about NATO's expanding role on a global scale. Our fourth keyword is freedom of navigation. The passage of the U.S. warship and NATO Navy vessel through the Taiwan Strait emphasizes the principle of freedom of navigation in international waters. This principle, enshrined in international law, ensures that all nations have the right to traverse the seas without interference. However, with China's assertive claims in the South China Sea and its reaction to this maneuver, the concept of freedom of navigation faces a critical test. Last but not least, our final keyword is geopolitical implications. The passage of the U.S. warship and NATO Navy vessel through the Taiwan Strait has far-reaching consequences. It not only affects the delicate balance of power in the Asia-Pacific, but also influences alliances, regional stability, and the evolving dynamics of global politics. Understanding these implications is crucial for comprehending the broader impact of this maneuver. As tensions continue to rise and the situation develops, it is essential to closely monitor the actions and reactions of all parties involved. This event serves as a reminder of the complex web of international relations and the delicate balance that must be maintained to ensure peace and stability in the region. Thank you for joining us today as we explore the passage of a U.S. warship and NATO Navy vessel through the Taiwan Strait amidst China's war games. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be interested. Also, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, take care and stay informed.